So for a geoarchaeologist to know where other sites are held in the landscape, you have to know where the dirt of the right age and the dirt of the right type is held. And so behind me, you can see a big flat bench that is right next to the river, and there is a cut in the edge of the bench. So from a geoarchaeological point of view, this is really what we're looking for. We want to find those parts of the landscape that are holding on to old landforms, that is, geologic deposits that were created by some natural process. In this case, it's probably a combination of the river flooding and wind blowing sediments and maybe even gravity bringing things down the canyon walls. To understand the landscape in more detail, we not only want to map landforms like this, but we want to see what's inside them. We want to know what actually they're made of and how that relates to the changing environmental conditions all around us. So we map the landforms themselves and then we see what's inside them. And as we see what's inside them, we can understand the stratigraphy or the details of the history of how this landform was created. So this process of understanding where sites are held in the landscape first begins as a geoarchaeological problem. We have to understand where they could potentially be held. That is, where is the dirt of the right age? Where is the dirt of the right type? These are questions that have to be answered. And once we can understand that, then we can begin to zoom in and find archaeological sites of specific types and ages. So we can demonstrate the idea of the dirt of the right age here at the Cooper's Ferry site. So beside me we have some stratigraphy. This is a layer that we call lithostratigraphic unit 8. This is 6 and this is 5. And each of these has a different geochemistry. Each of them have a different age. So if I want to try to find other sites like Cooper's Ferry in the lower Salmon River Canyon, I might find these, or at least seek to find them, in the landscape as targets of my dirt of the right age kind of approach. So these have different qualities and ages, we can seek them out, and when we find them, we know that we've narrowed down our search from very old or very young kinds of deposits to exactly the right kind of age of an archeological deposit that we might be seeking. The Cooper's Ferry site is located at an intersection with a major tributary canyon. This tributary canyon is known as Rocky Canyon or Rock Creek, and it drains into the Salmon River and at its confluence, there's a flat part of the landscape that probably was the deposition of material from the side canyon plus the main canyon to coming together. This appears to have been very attractive to people in the past and for some reasons that we can really only guess at, but logically I would think that people might be coming to this place because if you situate yourself at this intersection between a tributary canyon and the main canyon, you have access to two different kinds of ecosystems, a major riverine one and a more minor riparian and stream ecosystem. The other thing that's important about this location is that in the Salmon River Canyon, there are very few of these very major tributaries. In terms of the geography of the mind of the Salmon River Canyon, people may have been able to remember this place very easily because it's a very major off-ramp from the bottom of the canyon to the uplands. The fact that we see people storing artifacts in pits here, creating what are called caches, may be an indication that this was a major turning point or rendezvous point for people as they move throughout the country here. Within these landforms, we see layers that show us specific events, specific conditions, and how the environment of the canyon itself at very, very large scales that we might call landscape will change over time in particular ways. Within these landforms, archaeological sites can be held. Depending on the age of the sediment and the type of the sediment, we might find different kinds of sites of different ages distributed not randomly throughout the landscape, but in direct purpose related to how people are using an environment like this.